Hey, mama, see the hay, mama, see the hay. Drip too hard, don't drown on this wave. She told me the handcuff will give her no escape. Bad look. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be on this little cutesy bootsy look that I'm actually gonna wear this Friday when I'm a bridesmaid. So you can wear this when you're a bridesmaid or like a night out concert. You can do a whatever, girl. It's a nice plummy look and if you guys don't already know i upload every single week every single week they give a video every single week hey hey and if you haven't already hit that bell notification to be notified every time i upload let's get started let me clip my hair so how is everyone's weekend been what are you guys doing in the week i am gonna be a bridesmaid for a wedding and i'm gonna do this look and I feel like it's such a perfect look for if you're a bridesmaid or if you're just going out, springy, summery, you can do it all. Looking like a crazy person for a second. I'm going to start by priming the eyelid. This is my favorite, MAC Soft Ochre. Oh my god, I always have excess freaking lash glue on my eyelids. Oops. You guys know I always use this freaking palette even though there's some tea going on but let's not get started about that oh if you guys want to you know get away from youtube drama and watch other drama there's this one documentary called jailbirds on in uh, instagram netflix it's so good you guys it's like the drama and love behind bars that's all i'm gonna say it's very good i loved it i'm gonna start off with this baby right here lightly blend that as a transition crease shade. What other documentaries do you guys love to watch on Netflix? I actually, it wasn't a documentary, but it was a movie. I just finished the Ted Bundy movie with Zac Efron. I forgot what it's called. It has like a really long name. It's like evil twisted something, um, but it's about Ted Bundy and his whole story about what happened. If you guys don't know who Ted Bundy is, he's a serial killer and I won't give too much away, but it was really good. I liked it. Then I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. It's a beautiful, like, plumish, pinkish, purplish. We're going to define the crease. It's like a light plum, like a premature plum. What other documentaries do you recommend? I love documentaries. I'm not that big of a movie person. I love documentaries, anything about crime, murder, rape, drugs, gangs. Throw it at me. Now I'm gonna pop into this yellow one and just soften it up. Soften it up just a little. Blend it. Blend it. Blend it. Blend it. If you guys wanna see pictures of this look, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I always keep it down below. Okay. Now I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. I cut the crease on this side, but I forgot that I have to add this color first. So we are going to add it at the edge of our eye and then blend it into the crease. Go back and cut the crease. Now I'm gonna cut my crease using my M508 in Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna add some of the concealer on the back of my hand, just cause we don't want a lot of concealer on our eyelid. And then we're gonna go ahead and Cut it out. I do half a moon. I don't do the full cut crease because I like to have it look a little bit more natural. So to each his own. Perfect. Now I'm gonna take a flat shadow brush and I'm gonna go into this beautiful salmony pinky color right here with a little bit of shimmer on it. So that's cute. We're gonna tap that on where we cut the crease. I'm gonna wet my brush. Oh. I sprayed on my wall, oops. I'm gonna wet my brush just a little bit to get more of that shimmer out of the shadow. Yup. And then I'm gonna go back into this original shade that we started off with, and I'm going to blend these two colors together. And then with whatever you have on your brush, just go ahead and blend everything. This line is looking a little harsh. I don't like when the cut crease is too you know? So I like to kind of tone it down a little bit by blending it over. Now, we're gonna use the same brush because why not? I'm gonna go into this shade, mix it with this one, 
and mixed with this one. So if you didn't get that, it was this one, this one, this one. I'm going to add a touch, the end of our eye, and blend it in. Woo! Bitch. Now you gotta be super soft with your hand or it might get a little crazy. This is looking fabulous. Now I'm going to add my absolute favorite gel liner, you guys. I don't, like, I'm very shocked at myself that I haven't used this a while back. Like, I should've used this a long ass time ago. This is the Ingla Gel Liner. It's the best, like, hands down, will not dry out. It's creamy, it's like, it's the best, girl. You gotta use this. So I'm gonna use this to do some wing liner off camera because I get super close and personal to my mirror. And then we're gonna add some mascara, lashes. I'll keep you guys updated on which one I use. So yeah, be right back. Oh, and might as well finish up my face too. Yeah, be right back. All right, guys, this look is almost done. Um, I'm gonna kind of run through what I did. First off, lashes. These are one of my favorite lashes right now. It's the Anna Marty Caliente lash. I actually was invited to her launch party, which is super cool. I love her lashes. This is one of my favorites. She released three, but this one is my top fave. It's Caliente. It's super wispy, dramatic, but you can still see the makeup underneath. Yeah. I went ahead and highlighted the brow bone, nose, you know, rest of the highlight, filled in the brows. And most importantly, I added gel liner in my waterline and my tight line. So now we are going to work underneath. I'm gonna go into this shade right here with a pencil brush. Now I'm just gonna start to smoke under the eye. Now with a angled brush, I'm gonna pick up this shade, mix it with this one, just deepen it up. Why not? These two, why not? I'm gonna focus on the outer part of our eye. And then I'm just gonna go into this shade right here and connect the inner corner. like that because we don't want it to be too black underneath <laughs> i'm going to highlight my inner corner using the same highlight that's all over my face anastasia beverly hills on breezy collaboration best highlighter ever go ahead and tap that all on the inner corner and tap that give me some more tap that now all that's left is to add some mascara on the lower lash line and we are moving on to the lips. Now as our mascara dries, I hope it doesn't transfer. We're gonna pick up Boldly Bare MAC Lip Liner. We're gonna line our lips. And then I'm gonna pick up NYX Lingerie in Lippy number six. I'm gonna add this all over. This is a liquid lipstick and I just love going on top with a clear gloss. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick up my MAC clear gloss. It's literally a tube with clear gloss in it. And I'm going to pick up a lip brush, dazzle on that a little bit, gloss it up. If you guys haven't noticed, I like to make up my own words. I have like my own dictionary in my head that nobody else knows of. I literally sound like a sociopath, but I swear to God, I just come up with random words on the spot. It's like a talent of mine. Dazzle. Is that a word? I think it is but use it in a sentence. I'm going to dazzle on some lip gloss. All nighter setting spray. It's one of my favorites. We are all done guys. I missed that whole side of my face. All right guys, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.